Hello everyone. Welcome to Open Plan Tech Tip Tuesday. My name is Abbas Ali Zaidi and in today's session we are going to cover how to create new catalogs or new specs by importing data uh, from XLS uh, file. So let's zoom into Open Plan Modeler session and uh, let me open a project administrator. Um, in the project administrator, uh, let's select a sample uh, project. Uh, and in this project, we will launch uh, a specification generator. Uh, and um, once the specification generator opens up, uh, we'll open up a, a catalog editor. So let me go to file and uh, catalog editor uh, because let's uh, create a new catalog. Um, we have few options here like Excel import options and uh, basically auto save, use EC class uh, from project schema and other uh, mapping related options are here uh, to allow uh, mappings to be previewed uh, before you import the data and where the default mappings are stored. Uh, so let's hit, uh, hit OK on this dialog and create a new uh, catalog uh, and name it uh, for example test catalog in, in this case. And hit OK. So once the new catalog uh, is created, uh, it's asked to edit the schema. And by schema, we mean um, uh, you know what type of uh, tables this catalog will contain. Uh, we'll come to the ex import XLS and um, options. Uh, we have few uh, options here, uh, but let's just first add the few few tables in it. Uh, there are different ways you can add table. Uh, I'm right now manually just adding a table, selecting. Um, let me just add pipe uh, table and maybe we can add few more uh, tables um, of elbow and T uh, but notice that as soon as I added a table uh, all the fields are automatically populated on the right hand side uh, these are all the fields that are defined in our in our schemas and that correspond to the, this particular uh, catalog uh, table so let me add T as well uh, so um, uh, so we uh, this means that we're creating a catalog which has pipe elbow and T uh, tables in it and um, once the table structure has been defined uh, now we will select uh, the import data import options and uh, hit on import from XLS so this dialog uh, prompts me to select an, an Excel file which uh, contains the data uh, let me open up this pipe dot uh, XLX to show what the format is Uh, so uh, this is a simple XLS file. You can export data from any uh, system, uh, but the only criteria is that the uh, the first row that contains any data is regarded as the uh, columns or the names of the fields, and uh, rest of the rows are regarded as the actual data. Uh, so we have uh, pipe, elbow, t, different uh, uh, tabs or sheets in this workbook, and uh, uh, the ideally for each. Um, uh, the different type of component you should have the data into different tabs um, so that's uh, pretty much it on the format let's just select this XLS file and hit open uh, notice that the tabs uh, in are listed as option boxes and you can select in the XLS sheet uh, which uh, tabs you want to uh, select and the import data for um, by default the mappings are blank because this is the first time we're creating uh, we can select the option to do new mapping and choose for which uh, table or worksheet we want to create mapping for. Uh, let me select pipe here and hit uh, OK. Uh, once I do that, uh, now I'm creating a pipe.xml which is the mapping for my uh, pipe table data import and uh, I can create uh, to start to add uh, the rows, the mapping rows in here. The first row that I add for mapping, uh, you know, should be the EC class name. Uh, that's also, uh, you know, a mandatory that the first row is selected a class. After that, uh, you know, I'll hit the plus sign again. And now notice that on the sheet column, the um, uh, columns in the XLS, uh, you know, the first row are, are present. So I'll select, uh, you know, selecting here and on the table columns, all the EC properties. Uh, so I can select uh, whichever, uh, you know, um, EC property that corresponds to sheet column. And this way we'll do this journal mapping. 
let me uh, like say die uh, di uh, you know dia pi powder uh, is a column that contains value for pi powder diameter uh, main run so i'll just select these and run um, so i'll keep on adding these for all the sheet columns or necessary or just the required columns or uh, however i want to bring the data if i've created uh, created new fields i'll just add it uh, add them uh, as well uh, let me just speed up this process and um, uh, fast forward all the mappings uh, that I created here uh, so that we are able to do this in quick time. Um, so main size is wall thickness um, and after then I can save the mapping, mapping and hit the preview button. Uh, so notice that uh, the, once the data will import it will look like this. So before I actually uh, import the data I can view uh, these mapping uh, in this uh, dialog box. Um, similarly, uh, I'll create uh, maybe, you know, add another mapping uh, for elbow table now and uh, add new row. Uh, the first row will be the class name. Uh, again, um, this is elbow. I think I have a long radius 90 degree elbow data in this XLS file. So I'll select that. And then from the following uh, uh, rows, uh, uh, you know, I'll just keep on adding new rows and uh, selecting the uh, one column uh, in the worksheet and select the corresponding EC property. And uh, let me again just uh, fast forward so that we complete these mapping. Uh, a little knowledge is required here uh, for the for the property name. Uh, there is some documentation available uh, on you know uh, which uh, these properties, and also you can look at the schema for details as well. I'll save the mapping, and uh, viewing the mapping again here shows me the um, uh, you know the um, the data that will come into the, into, into the catalog. Uh, let me uh, close this uh, and hit the uh, import button. So let me import the data here and when I click on import data, uh, you know, it uh, uh, will, uh, it tells me that there's one successful import in the elbow table. Uh, from the drop down, I'll select the pipe and uh, run the import data button again. And this time I'm able to do the uh, pipe table import. So if I close this, I can actually see the data and the actual catalog is now created. Uh, this is the pipe table. Uh, so the test catalog MDB, uh, you know, pipe table contains this data. Uh, similarly, uh, you know, let me select the elbow table here and uh, notice all the data from the XLS is now coming into the corresponding fields. The T table of course is blank because we didn't add any data into T, but I can go back and um, go to my import data Excel options, select the same XLS file again, and um, create a select the T uh, worksheet and uh, then you know add another mapping uh, for the uh, for the t and then create the mapping just like i did for pipe and elbow so uh, this is this way i can you know create these mappings uh, and import the data uh, we can also create these mapping files uh, with the specific names corresponding to either our catalogs or manufacturers or our project uh, nomenclature and reuse them later uh, so in the we can also b batch import all the mappings and XLS files into one or different catalogs and these options dialog or the setting dialogs can also be launched from this uh, user interface. And um, as I said that we can load these existing mapping um, so you don't have to create these mappings again and again this is most likely a one time job uh, for different uh, component classes. So this way you can easily, uh, you know, define mapping once and create the um, catalog um, um, for importing data from XLS. Uh, I hope uh, you found this session helpful. Uh, please uh, keep watching our tech tips. Thank you.